Welcome back. I hope the implementation of the Glencoe Math program is going well. So let's talk about how to set up a class. I'm going to go to the Manage and Assign tab. Remember, this is my virtual filing cabinet, so I'm just pulling out that drawer. I go to My Classes, and very simply, I'm going to Create a Class. Now, your class name, in this case, I'm going to use the word practice, but you might want to use, um, you know, Pick a method, like always your last name, the class period, or maybe the class period first. Just make sure you have your method and keep that. Uh, this simple login is really designed for the lower elementary students that maybe are not proficient readers. So no need to worry about that. Hit Save. And now you're ready to add your students. Whenever you get to this page, your account will be your school district name. From there, the key thing to look for is last name. And all you need to really do is type in two letters. So I can type in ST or student. And then I'm simply going to hit search. And that is going to pull up all the students that have the last name of that particular, whether it be Smith or Jones. or, And then that quickly, I can just add those students to my class. Hit done. And then if I want to add other students, maybe with last names of A's or B's, within five minutes, basically, you will have your class created. Once your class is created, you can, um, of course, always go in and add other students or remove students. You can print a password list for your students. And sometimes that's just nice to have handy on your desk for if your students forget theirs. From this site, you can also view any of your students' passwords. At the top here, you can share classes or edit this class. Also notice on this is a place for your messages and my discussion. We briefly talked about the collaboration tool in the student side, and this is where you turn on and enable those discussions. So your students cannot collaborate with you until you turn that on and then start that discussion feature. So now remember, none of this can be done until your students have been imported. Many times that is done at a district level. And so make sure it's a simple Excel file. Make sure that is done for your district. And then if you'll please go in and do this yourself, try to set up your classes. And, of course, go to the discussion feature on your Quick Start McGraw-Hill guide and ask any questions or make any recommendations. Remember that uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.